Hi everyone, I'm Ronan, that's Wadsworth. Welcome to Now Z Here, weekly transition babble blog. So, I'm not an assertive person. I find it difficult to be assertive. This is just a plain fact that I have known about myself from a very young age. I remember I I was in elementary school, I was maybe second or third grade, and I had this book um, that was defining different words. It wasn't a dictionary. I didn't, I, I, I didn't just read the dictionary as a kid. No. No, I actually didn't. It was this picture book. Um, and it defined assertive. It said whatever it said. You know, um, assertive is, you know, saying what you need and standing up for yourself or whatever it said. I don't remember the wording. And at that young age, little tiny me read those words and said, ah, That's not me. So I know this about myself. I know it's just a fact and it's something that I work on and it's something I try to live with when I can't work on it. I flee from conflict. Backbones are uncomfortable people. I worked in retail for a solid three years and I think that that experience has a lot to do with the little bit of backbone that I was able, you know, to uh, develop based on the experience of working in retail. And back then I kept saying, man, growing a spine is one of the most uncomfortable processes in the world. Wadsworth knows what I'm talking about. They don't have a spine either. Anyway, the way in which my conflict phobia normally manifests these days is uh, in the fact that I have known that I am trans for a good eight years now. And I don't correct people who misgender me. I don't. I still barely correct my family when they use the wrong pronouns. And there's this mental math that always happens at the moment when I hear, you know, an incorrect pronoun, which ends up weighing how much emotional stress is this experience going to cost me now and or in the future against how little of a deal is this because maybe they're a server at a restaurant, or they're a bank teller, and I'm gonna be interacting with them in five second increments at a time, and then I'm never going to see them again, possibly. You know, you've got the issue of it being a person that has really no connection to you other than this professional interaction uh, that you're having. And again, you're not likely to see them very much in the future, so... What's the big? Versus, if I turn this into a thing, this is somebody I know, this is somebody who I'm going to have to interact with a lot, I don't want to have to deal with the emotional stress that's coming from going through this again. And one of them sort of always ends up heavy enough that I just don't do anything. And I've started wondering, I've started, I've started wondering, whether that's okay. And I don't necessarily mean whether it's okay that they're misgendering or mispronouning me. That's a fault of the binary. That's not even necessarily their fault. But maybe it is okay that I don't say anything. It feels weird to say that. But I feel like I have to at least try the idea on because I am sick of beating myself up about not doing anything. Of of feeling shame and feeling weak and feeling like a doormat and just turning all of that energy inward and then still not doing anything about it. Maybe it's fine to not want to get into the gender 101 discussion. Maybe it's fine to not want to explain neutral pronouns in a face-to-face situation. Maybe it's fine to feel more comfortable talking about all of this stuff and getting it out to a camera and a microphone. Or maybe it's not fine and maybe eventually I'll come to a different conclusion, but I know, I know what's not fine is turning myself into a punching bag over it. So, to myself, and to anyone else out there who might be feeling the same way, listen up. 
You don't have to be assertive to be worth something. You don't have to be assertive to be emotionally strong. Try that idea on. See how it feels. I'm going to see how it feels. That's it for me this week. Please like and subscribe and always be changing.